Hello and welcome to a new video of PenPot, the open source design and prototyping tool for the whole team. Today we are really glad to introduce you the new version of PenPot 2.0, which brings a tons of new improvements and functionalities like new component version, new refreshed UI and the region of this video, the grid layout. Do you want to know more about it? Let's go! Before we get down to it, I think it's important to talk about the main differences between grid layout and flex layout, which are mainly in the design capabilities that they offer and the context that are more suitable for us in our designs. I will explain them to you. The main difference between grid layout and flex layout is the way in which they allow us to structure uh, the content of our designs. Grid layout offers a much more complex and two-dimensional structure in columns and rows, while flex layout is simpler and more agile since we can only use one direction at a time. The second main difference is the control of the space. By managing our design in columns and rows, grid layout allows us a much thinner control of where we want to position each element or area of content. On the other hand, flex layout is more flexible but at the same time is simpler, which is ideal for smaller elements that we want to use in our designs. The next main difference is the learning curve. Managing our designs and content in columns and rows is not always easy to understand, especially at the beginning. It is very powerful, but we need to work hard to master it. On the other hand, flex layout is much simpler and requires less effort to start using it. I'm going to give you some examples, some cases of use, in which differentiate between using grid layout and flex layout. Grid layout is more suitable for content management, like design a dashboard or complex layouts that contain a lot of information, for example, magazines, banners, etc. On the other hand, flex layout is more suitable for simple components, these atoms that we are going to use in our designs. We can quickly highlight the benefits of grid layout. The main one is the one we already mentioned. This two-dimensional control allows us to be very precise when choosing in rows and columns how we want to distribute our space and allow us to uh, position and align it very easily. This also makes the design responsive. We'll, we'll go a little farther into the units that are used, the fractions and the automatic units, everything is automatically, automatically adjust to what we need. It is also much more evident that the consistency in the alignment is super important with grid layout. We can handle the elements very easily and position them wherever we want, always taking into account this reticle that we are going to create in our designs with grid layout. The simplicity of the maintenance is evident. We can have very precise control of what we want, but the structure of the content is not the content itself. We can change the content as we want without modifying the structure and reuse it wherever we want. Another element that grid layout allows us, very beneficial, is the management of the space between elements. You will now see how we not only talk about rotor columns, vertical and horizontal, we can also manage the space between elements, which makes everything very, very easy and the final result is much better. And of course, the integration with other CSS and code element is crucial. It is the good thing we have for using web standards. Grid layout, like flex layout, talks about web standards that are used later when coding our web designs. So the integration between both and many other elements is very easy. Tell us in the comments what you think about the new grid layout feature and in general, what you think about the new version of PenBot.
there will be more videos about the new improvements and new functionalities in depth so you can discover all that the new Penpot 2.0 offers uh, you have at your disposal the community of, of Penpot users you have all the links below so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video Thank you.